Hello friends, welcome to the channel IT Simplified. Hope you're having a good time with your family and friends. And if you're liking these videos, do subscribe to the channel because it will definitely help me and what motivate me to create more content. In today's session on Azure, I'm here to talk about Azure Lighthouse, what it is and how it can help you as an MSP provider or Microsoft Service Provider. So what is the first thing that comes to your mind when we talk about Lighthouse? So you must have seen that it's like a big tower, right? And what it does is basically helps to navigate ships. So if the weather is not that good, if it's foggy, ships are not able to uh, see, it will help them to navigate so that they just don't hit the sea line, right? Or the rocks, I will say. Now, if I apply the same concept from the MSP side and managing their multiple tenant, so if I'm an MSP provider or service provider, I will have to deal with multiple customers, multiple customer tenant. Say customer one, customer two, customer three. And maybe if it's a one or two customers, uh, it is okay because you need to switch between multiple tenants. But what happens if you're dealing with tens and hundreds of customers? Right, it can be really challenging. So what um, Lighthouse will allow you to do is uh, it will helps to manage right from the MSP tenant. You don't have to switch between portals and you can uh, onboard your customers and manage everything from one interface. That is the whole idea about the about Lighthouse. So in this case, say for example, the MSP's tech data. And in this one, the customer is customer one. Now, in order to achieve this, there are two ways you can do. One option is you want to publish your offering in the marketplace. You can create your own uh, offering and you can publish this in the marketplace. That's one option. But the one that we're going to concentrate today is through templates. Both of them will do the same job, but uh, we'll concentrate on the templates option. And in order to achieve this, we need to have certain information, both from the MSP side, as well as from the customer side. We'll look at this one by one. Now, the first thing that we need from the MSP side is Azure AD Tenant ID. And how are you gonna get this? You can go to Azure Active Directory. So I'm on my tenant site, you can see, right? That's the tech data. I can just go to Azure Active Directory and uh, grab the tenant information, the tenant ID. That's one thing that will be needing, that's step number one. Step number two is to create security group. And uh, how you create a security group is again under Azure Active Directory. Go to groups. Say create new group. And the only thing you need to just uh, consider here is that the group type should be security and you can give any group name you want. You can create multiple groups. Say if it's gonna be a contributor, right, you can give a group description. and you just click on create. And if you want to say, for example, create a group 
who are going to have a reader access, you can do and uh, change that here, whichever name you want. And just click on create, pretty straightforward. So once that is created, for example, I've already created one with the name LH contributor. You can add members here, right? And uh, say, for example, if I want to add user three, you can go and add, select, and that will be added. And this user will have uh, contribute access. Same thing. If you want to give uh, access on the reader side, you can add the members right from here and do that. So we have created security group and uh, added members in that. The third step that you need to give is, or you need to do is to give proper access to this security group. And uh, how are you going to do that? We'll just go to subscription. Everything is I'm doing on the service provider side. And under access control, I can go and click on add, add role assignment. And there are different kinds of roles within Azure AD. Say I want to give contributor access uh, to the group, the group name is LH Contributor, Lighthouse Contributor, and you click on Save. Same way, if you want to give reader access, you can give reader access here, and it will be for the reader security group. So these are the things that you need to do on service provider side, and once that is done, what you need to do is to get the object IDs, of the security group. And role definition ID, oops. And I'll show you how to get it. The object IDs, you can get it from same way. Go to Azure AD. Don't need to create. Okay, let me go to from the. You'll find that under the groups, the one that we just created, right? You don't need to create two groups. You can have one group, or you can even have multiple groups, depending upon what kind of access you want to give. So this is the object ID or the principal ID on the template that will show up. So you just can copy this and save it somewhere. And same way you can also get for the other group, say for example, for the reader group, you can get the object ID and because you'll be needing that. So with this, all this information done, we are done at the, at the service provider side. One more thing I want to just show you that you'll be also needing the role definition ID because in Azure, there are different kind of roles. For example, in our case, we said that uh, you need to give contributor and a read access. You can go to this link, Azure built-in roles, and these are standard. So this will be standard in case you're providing a contributor access to that security group, it will be same for you too. And uh, even for the reader, it will be saved depending on what access you want. So you can go to Azure Docs, built-in roles and provide this or grab this public I, uh, role definition ID because you'll be needing that. So with this, we are done at the service provider level uh, or I'm at the MSP level, all this information will be needed. Now, from the customer side, in order to run the templates, which I'm going to show you, you need to have owner access. So whoever person has the owner access, you can give the template to them and uh, they need to run this. And where you get the template from? So I'm on the customer site, you can see. I'm on the customer tenant. And uh, you can go to the Lighthouse sample. Like this talk on the GitHub repository and you can apply this at the complete subscription level. So you can go, I can do and have the complete subscription deployment control or you can also have onboard 
specific resource group or multiple resource group. But what we're going to do is we're going to do this at the complete subscription level. So you can go and say deploy to Azure. And the only thing you need to do is to edit certain parameters, the one that we grab from the service provider side. So say you want to give any specific uh, uh, MSP offer name, you can uh, provide it over here. Say I want to give tech data, ITS, you can give an offer subscription name also. And then you need to provide the information from that security group. The principal ID is the object ID, which I showed you. So you need to provide that. Role definition ID is these for the specific uh, access that we want to give. And the principal display name is the name of the security group. So say it is LH contributor, right? And same thing, this will be principal ID for the uh, LH reader the role definition for the reader access and the name for the security group, which is LH reader, that's it. And after you input all this information, and obviously you also need to put uh, the tenant ID, this is very important, you need to put that. No, I'm not putting this for the security purposes. Uh, I just don't wanna show this uh, here, but you need to provide the tenant ID, you click on save, and it will review and create, and it will take just a couple of seconds for this template to run. Once that template is run, right, way to find this at the customer site. So I'm on the customer tenant. So say, for example, if I have run that template, I can go and type in service provider, and you'll see under service provider offer, I have Tech Data Corporation is my service provider. I can go and delete, I can always remove this and uh, say, I don't wanna be in the lighthouse. I can just go and delete this. If I want to add more offers, so I'm not just stuck with one MSPs. So in case I need to have a specific service from specific service provider. So the service provider has published this through the marketplace. I can go and onboard them and it will also show me on the service provider offering in this page. So this is the experience from the customer side. So how's the experience from the MSP side, right? So in order to see that, you can go and type in my customers. And if I go under customer, you will see that uh, I have the information of my customer here. If I go inside this, this is a free trial of my customer one. And it will also show you the role assignment, LH contributor, LH reader. These are the security groups who have access to this uh, customer tenant. And I can obviously add, so as my uh, customers grows, I will see all those subscription over here, right? Now, if I expand my name here, you can see that I can go and switch directory and make sure that your all the directories are selected. Now I will see my customer directory over here but let's see how the experience is in case I want to deploy some resources. So let's see how I want to deploy a storage account. I'm going to expand this and say, let's go and click on add. And you see under subscription, I see also the free trial. And just remember, this is the uh, customer subscription because we have onboarded them in the lighthouse. I can say, uh, create a new resource group, customer lighthouse resource group. So your account has to be unique. Pick the location. Data central. See if I want to leave everything to the default, review and create and let's click on create. So the deployment was done successfully. So let's see on the customer side if that was deployed or not. So I'm on my customer um, portal. And if I go under the storage account, there you go. You can see that my storage account was uh, deployed successfully. So everything I'm able to manage right from my MSP tenant. I don't need to switch between tenants. And once you have onboarded, it will all show you under the subscription 
and you can manage all the resources uh, right from one interface. And say, for example, if somebody in your company uh, leaves, you can just remove that access or remove that user right from that security group. And in that way, it makes the management far more easier. So this was a video on uh, how to onboard customers uh, in Lighthouse and what are the steps involved. Hope you found this video useful. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.